In this video, we are going to look at the question in 10 from section B of uh, mathematics paper 2 for the 2020. And uh, this is the paper that was written by the, uh, the external candidates. Now, let's look at uh, question 10a. The diagram shows three points PQR on the surface of the Earth. Take pi as 3.142 and radius 370. Okay, so now we can see that we, we have three points here. We have point e, a P that lies on latitude x degrees north, then in the longitude 55 degrees west. Then we also have a point Q on the same latitude as P, but on different longitude, which is 24 degrees east. Then we have point R, which is on the latitude 60 degrees south, but on the same longitude as Q. Now let's look at the first point here, I mean the first question. Roman number one. So we want to find the, the difference in the longitude between P and D R. So regardless where P and R are, the point is the P is on the latitude, I mean on the longitude 55 degrees west. Then R is on the longitude 24 degrees west. Since one is on the west and the other one on the east, we are going to add. So this is uh, 55 then e plus e 24 so what is the sum of 55 and 24 so this is uh, giving me 79 so the difference between these two longitudes is 79 uh, degrees now let's move on to question uh, 2 Roman number two, given that the distance between P and Q on latitude X degrees north is 4,392.079611 kilometers, calculate X. So now if we look at the latitude X or if we look at the distance between P and Q, it's a distance along the latitude. So what is the formula between the distance, I mean of the distance along the latitude, so distance is equal to, we are going to have theta divided by 360, uh, 2 pi r, then this one must have uh, cos x. Now, uh, here, the distance is given, so where there is d, we put uh, 4000, 392.079611 kilometers is equal to now the theta here the theta we need to find the difference in longitude between p and q so we can see that we already have this uh, difference so we put 79 degrees divided by uh, 360 times z 2 times pi is 3.142 times z the radius is 370 then e times z cos x is what we are solving for here so what can we do so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, cross multiply so we we'll multiply uh, 4392.07961 then you multiply by 360 so I'm getting uh, 1 million according to my calculations so 1 million 581,148.66 is equal to then 79 times 2 times 3.142 multiply by 70. So I'm getting three. This one is giving me 3 million 162 162,297.32. Then e cos uh, x. So since we are solving for cos x here, we are going to divide it by this number on both sides. Now 
Now, when dividing numbers like this, make sure that the numbers are in parentheses. So that if we cancel, we have cos x is equal to, so now let's say we have 1, 5, 80, 1, 1, 4, 80.66 then he divided by 3 1 3 1 6 2 2 9 7 point 32 so I'm getting 0 point 5 here so 0 point 5 then we know that if we are solving for uh, an angle this we are going to shift the cos giving us x is equal to then we are going to say cos of 0 0.5 so cos of 0 0.5 is 60 degrees so this is the latitude dx so x is equal to 60 degrees now let's look at the roma number number three so roma number three i will put it here so for Roma number three, calculate the distance QR on the longitude 24 degrees is so the distance along the longitude the formula is distance is equal to theta divided by 360 degrees 2 pi r. So under this uh, distance we don't put the the cos. So here we are going to find the, the difference in the latitude remember we have the latitude here we have found it. this is 60 degrees uh, north then how can we find the difference between it, 60 between a latitude on the northern part and the latitude on the southern part so we are going to add 60 plus 60 will give us 120 over 360 times 2 times pi is 3.2 142 times 63 uh, 70. Then let's do calculations here. So 120 multiply by 2 times 3.142 times 63 70. So I'm getting uh, 4 million 89.6 over 360 so if we divide by 360 so I'm getting 13,343.02 kilometers so this is our distance then you can round it off to three significant figures according to the uh, rules if the number is not that accurate. So this is what you do if you are finding uh, the angle given the distance. Now let's move on to question A. We move on to question A 2. Now for question 2. The figure A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H below is a thruster of a pyramid. E, F, G, H and A, B, C, D are squares of 8 centimeters and 12 centimeters respectively. Given that the height of the thruster is 3 centimeters, calculate its volume. So there are two ways in which we can find the volume of a thruster. If we want, we can find the, the volume of the smaller uh, pyramid and that of the larger pyramid. Then if we find the difference between the two, we will get the volume of the frustum or we can just find the volume of a frustum like this with this formula so the formula is uh, volume so this is question b volume is equal to we have height over three then open bracket so area one plus area two plus the square root of the brackets of area one 
I mean the product of area 1 and area 2. So this is the formula that we can use if we just want to find the volume without finding the 2. If we just want to find the exact volume. So under this formula, let's look at this uh, diagram here. So we can see that with, we have EF, EFGH. This is a square. So this means that the above distances are equal. So each side, the above means there is 8 centimeters. Then uh, we also have the bottom part where there is AB is equal to 12 centimeters. BC will also equal to 12 centimeters. Now the question is where, where, why are we saying each side will be equal to each? Because a square is a polygon where all the four sides are equal to each other. So now after knowing this point here, we are going to find the, the area of the base square, the one on the bottom, then also find the area of the upper. So what is the area of the square? So the area of the square, area, we we'll consider the bottom one as area one. So area of the square is L times L. Why are we using L times L? Because the distances are equal. So what is the length of the bottom square? So the bottom square have 12 um, a centimeter. So we'll say 12 centimeters multiplied by another 12 centimeters. So what is 12 times 12? This will give us 144 centimeters squared. So this is our, our bottom party area. Then after we are, we are done finding area 1, we ought to find the area 2. So the area 2 will be, will consider the upper square here. So what is the length of the upper square? We can see that the length is 8 centimeters. So this will be 8 centimeters multiplied by 80 centimeters. So what is 8 times 80? This will give us 64 centimeter times centimeter will give us uh, centimeters squared. Then after we are done finding these two um, areas, we can now go back to our formula. So the height, we can see that we have this height here, 3 centimeters. So at this edge, we put uh, 3 uh, centimeters over 3. Then we are going to do the substitution. So area 1, area 1 is 144 centimeters squared plus area 2, 64 centimeters squared plus C the square root of 144 centimeters squared times 64 centimeters squared so we can now divide 3 into 3 will give us 1 centimeter here then what is the 140 144 plus 64 so it's 208 so you add centimeters squared. Then let's find the product of 144 and 64. So 144 times 64, I'm getting 9,000, 9,216 centimeters to the power 4. Where are we getting? Because here we have squared, here also here we have squared, so it's to the power. Uh, four. Now we can find the, the square root, the square root of this number, 9216. So I'm getting 96. Then what is the square root of centimeter to the power 4? It's just centimeters squared. Then we know that the numbers inside are like terms, so these two can be added. So 96 plus e. so 96 plus e, 2080. So I'm getting 304 centimeters squared. 
then we can multiply 304 times 1 is still 304 centimeter squared multiplied by centimeter will give us centimeter to the power 3 so this is our volume for uh, this question and uh, that's it for this video this is what i just wanted to share with you guys